finally here. YouTube, it's been a long time coming. Our page. This is Mama Cole. Miss Daughtry. Nicole. Miko. Children call her a little bit of everything. Miss Nicole, Mom. Nikki. Nikki. Miss Nikki, baby. And I am William. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. Finally, new show. 17. Why do we call it 17? Because we have get that? 17 children. What? 17 children. Okay. Half way. Take Between the both of us, we have 17 children. Yes. So, and we won't name them all right now. Not now. <laughs> We will, because I know you'll be asking. Okay. We'll drop names in the description or something. And yeah. Introduce y'all. We got videos on the on our page. We made little highlight reels when we presented them the awards. You can always check that out on there. But we're here, 17. Significant to us, obviously, because we have 17 children. But what really made the name stick is when we looked it up, we looked up what the number means. The number 17 symbolizes discipline. Self-discipline. That's something that we teach at the at the dinner table situations. It's constant, 17 children, it's always things happening. Self-discipline is usually one of the things, either a lack thereof or exercising. exercising. Compassion, responsibility, spiritual awareness, and wisdom. And it also can represent, hold on, frequent travel, traveling for work or pleasure. Now that's a big thing with us. We travel all the time. You'll see on our page, we have a lot of travel videos. 17 really stood out. We felt me. like something that represented us and symbolized us. Mm -hmm. So we went with it. 17, here we are with our first video. First video. Okay. So we starting everything off because we're about to get ready and go out of town for our anniversary. And another one. Mm -hmm. Another one. One, two, three, four, five. Five state tour. Mm -hmm. So this is our second year anniversary. We've been married for two years. Mm -hmm. I think the most significant thing is we got married in less than thirty-seven days. We were friends for about a year and a half, maybe. We started dating and we got married in a few weeks. Okay. That video's on our page too. What is it entitled? Married in thirty-seven days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this so. the truth? We were really close friends though. We would always just have conversations, deep conversations. We had a lot of things that were familiar. She used to be a chef. She owned her own restaurant. I was a chef. Come from the same background, so. Is like, he fine? Nah, you fine. <laughs> you know, it was one of those things where it don't take a whole day to recognize sunshine, so. Yeah. We got married in a few a few short weeks. What push your she say? When you know, you know. <laughs> But uh, there's an anniversary video of our first anniversary, which was the best day of my life. Gosh. You should go check it out. It was absolutely wonderful. But this anniversary, because that's the thing, like, okay, we had such a great wedding. Then a great first year anniversary. What are you doing the second year? I did ask, I said, what do you want to do? Because there were some options. We wanted to go to- Key West. And we were big on that. The thing with Key West was, we had already been to Florida twice this year. Yeah. Once, just me, you just me, and you, and a baby, just the one-year-old. The one-year-old, and then once with all the kids on a big family mm -hmm. trip. So we were really deciding, do we want to go a third time in, in, in one right. year? There was also Seattle, Portland, and Seattle trip. Oh, yeah. But then the time is November, it will be cold and rainy. rainy. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a bad it's conversation. sleep, not snow. So, yeah, I ain't with that. Rain and everything. Like, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Portland is beautiful. I heard it. it ain't like I've been, I can tell you. But, yeah, you heard it's it's definitely somewhere on the list. It was on the list. Yeah. And then she hit me with the presentation. Mm -hmm. But let me present to you. So, I was all for it, though, because it's our anniversary. And I wanted, to, I wanted it to be fun. So, I presented Cali. And then you go to Las Vegas. Then from Vegas. We go to Utah, then from Utah we go to Colorado, and from Colorado we go back to DFW, come back home. So that was her presentation. So flying from Dallas to California, mm -hmm. staying there a day. Yeah. Cali. Oh yeah. So it's one day because we've also been to Cali. We've been to LA before. Top three trips ever. Mm -hmm. Right. Stayed for about three days. We went to see Nipsey's spot. We saw where Biggie died. 
We went to Catalina Island. We went to Catalina Island. We rode all through Cali with the top down, basically. Mm -hmm. We went everywhere, Long Beach, Malibu Beach, mm -hmm. Santa Monica. But we didn't go to Rossos. Venice. We didn't go to Venice. And so, and we didn't go to Venice because I didn't want to go to Venice pregnant. I ain't telling that, but that's what it was. So, it was a lot of walking. And so, yeah. Why didn't you want to go to Venice pregnant? Because it's a lot of walking. And it's like, um, it's so much going on. You know, this was more... I thought you were trying to go out there and be fine until you felt like the pregnancy was going to... No, like, but I, I literally was wobbling. You know, and Santa Monica Beach was more laid back. What was you, like six months mm -hmm. at the time? I, I just got off of my restriction so that I could I could go because I had a high-risk pregnancy. So they released me and we, we headed out. So we stay in one day in Cali. We're going to get there in the morning. We're going to stay the whole day in Cali on the beach. The next day, we're going to get up, go to the airport, fly to Vegas. Mm -hmm. We'll be in Vegas for the whole day Tuesday. Right. Stay the night in Vegas. And then the next morning, we're going to get up, catch a flight to Utah. Do you know what day is? And then that day will be our anniversary. Yes. So we'll spend our anniversary in Salt Lake City. And then from Salt Lake City to Denver. Hold we on, what are, we, what are we doing in Venice? So Venice, it's a lot to soak up. It's so much going on just on that strip. Do a little shopping, a little and you know just enjoy the beach mm -hmm. and it'll give us opportunity to work out mm -hmm. just to get out there in front of that water before we icicles so <laughs> california we planned on chilling on the beach mm -hmm. soaking up the sun we got a room across the street from the beach so i look forward to watching the sunset uh being in a hotel mm -hmm. seeing the beach you know what I mean? Yeah. I would really like to sleep on a balcony if it's possible. If it's too loud, it's not possible. Even if we sleep with the sliding door open. Open, yeah. To, to get that breeze off the, the, mm -hmm. the Pacific. It's going to be beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. Hold on. Where are we staying at in Cali so we can plug the hotel? Uh, Ocean View? Ocean View. Ocean View. So we staying at Ocean View. Mm -hmm. Right across oh, the goodness. street from yeah. the from the beach. Mm -hmm. So check that check that hotel out if y'all get a chance. Y'all go to Venice. Now I've never been there yet. I'll give you an update. Maybe come in the comments and let you know how it looks. So we'll make a video. But because because people say they nice and have stars and get in there and they got roaches. How many? <laughs> <laughs> really? so Cocoa Beach in Florida. There was a roach. Seaside. Sea, what is it? It's is it called seaside. seaside. We, it was another. I hate to do this to y'all, but, but there the was a roach. Yes. In the room, and like you literally could see the beach from the room. Mm -hmm. So this ain't. We not talking about some motel up the strip. Mm -hmm. Like you could see the beach from a certain view, and it was roaches yes. in the room, and it's t twelve of us in there. Yeah, it wasn't right. No boy, no sir. Yeah, but. So we'll see, we'll update you after we actually sleep there. Yeah. So Cali Beach Day, right? Mm -hmm. Next morning, Vegas. The link, and then it has a nice view of, of that Ferris wheel. That's a huge attraction out there in Vegas. And so it has a nice view of it. Um, and it's on the strip, you know, we couldn't really beat it as far as price wise. and. I mean, and all of that. So we're only going to be there one day. I didn't want to go anywhere too, you know, fancy or costly because we got Utah and Colorado, you know, right, right. after that. Right. So then a day in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And after Las Vegas, we're going to get up in the morning, mm -hmm. catch a flight to Salt Lake City, Utah. So we get to Utah at 8. Now here we're going to have to rent a car. Uh, because we want to move around. I always wanted to go to Utah. We plan on spending the day in Salt Lake City, in the city, to be able to see everything that Salt Lake City has to offer. The second day, what's the plans for the second day? Let me just say something about the room real quick. Okay. The room is so, well, this is from what I'm hearing. She said that we have like the most beautiful mountain view in our room. Like, and it comes with a fireplace in there. I just imagine it being so cozy. A and fireplace. Yes, and they give you little fuzzy socks. Okay. So then 
second day is what I'm super excited about, about the great salt flats mm -hmm. in Utah. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen. I dreamed about it last night. Man, if y'all haven't heard about it, look it up yes. right now. The Salt Flats in Utah. Beautiful attraction. It's a whole expanse of solid crystallized salt. And when it rains on it, it leaves like a little film of water. And it looks like the okay. world's biggest mirror. Yes. Where you, you can see the clouds in the sky on the ground. And it's like, like look it up on YouTube. Yeah. The uh, Utah Bonneville, I think, mm -hmm. Salt Flats. Yeah. It's just beautiful. I can't wait. It's ecstatic about that. Like, seriously, it's so beautiful. You really got to check it out. Not only that, by the time we get there, it'll be close to nighttime. And from what I'm hearing, it's like 45 minutes away to the closest street light. So out there, it's complete dark at night. This is a dream come true for me. Like, stargazing. They say you can see the whole Milky Way uh, galaxy um, out there. That's so. gonna give me so much life. Like, I'm gonna come back a new person after I see that. Not for real. So, I can only imagine. A fun fact about us, like, we are big on, like, the stars, the moon, the clouds, the sky. Like, we are fascinated. Yeah, we're not astrologers or no, nothing like no, that no, no, by no. any means. No, but we but just love creation. God's creation. Yes. We are huge nature people, so yeah. this trip is shit, something that we really cherish. And so two days in Utah, and then on the third day that morning, off to Denver to fly to Colorado, another one-way trip. I heard there's like these trains that take you up and down the strip, like downtown. Denver. My family's from Denver. Like my grandfather, my mother, all of them were like raised in Denver. So That's crazy. I'm looking forward to going there and, and kind of understanding. Yeah. Yeah, where your people come from. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So we're gonna stay the night in Denver, and then in the morning we're gonna wake up. We're gonna head to Glenwood. Springs where beautiful. It's just beautiful. Natural hot springs. There's this place that has like all these different pools that bring water from the natural springs and it's yes. like a uh, temperature each pool. So it's like one is like ninety eight, one is ninety nine, mm -hmm. one is a hundred, one oh one, one hundred and eight. All the way up to hundred and eight. Yeah. So we look forward in dipping into those natural hot springs. Therapeutic. It just sounds like a, a spa day. A they do. Spa day. It say it does something to your body too. Mm -hmm. It's natural hot spring. So I'm looking to, to get that experience. And then we're, we got two nights in Aspen. Aspen. As a kid, I just loved Dumb and Dumber and I always had the desire to just grow up and go to Aspen. Yeah, me and my sister and my brother we used to watch Dumb and Dumber every day as kids. Mm -hmm. Every day. And Aspen is really all I know about Colorado. Me too. You well, know, so. that part of it. And so yeah. to get an opportunity to go there, like it's like I'm fulfilling one of those childhood, you know, desires like that I always wanted. And so I'm really looking forward to Aspen. So we got two days in Aspen, two nights. You know, that's a dream trip for, for, for mm -hmm. us. So there was a lot that goes into this. For us having 17 children. Now, we don't always have 17 children in the house. Three children that live with us permanently. Mm -hmm. Last year, there was five children that lived with us permanently. Um, but they uh, went to go live with their mother. They stayed a year with us. On the weekends, there's... At minimum, there's six. Seven. Seven, yeah. Minimum. Minimum. A lot yeah. of times, there's... 12, 13. So we always have to plan. This will be the first trip we ever went to by ourselves. This, this is another our reason why I am so ecstatic about this. Like The baby's I, staying here. The baby is staying here. Like I've literally had him push pushing a stroller or, well, he's pushing a stroller, but we've had the baby on every single trip. If I didn't physically have him, I was pregnant with him. So New York, Cali. Florida, New Orleans, Oklahoma City, Memphis. Even. Florida again. Florida again. So it's our first trip by ourselves. 
This is our amazing. first like spending this amount of time together right. by ourselves. Like, we always have children. Yeah. So, so it's pretty big for us and we're excited about it. I think we think we're going to be excited about it, but there's going to be so much concerns and worries and constant conversations with the children. And so yeah. I'm interested in the experience. Yeah, I'm really looking and forward to it. So things that we have to do in order to take care of both sides, of course, do all the things with the hotel, but then making sure that the kids have everything they need here, food, mm -hmm. communication, yeah. Um, school because um, yeah they go they're home school so they'll be at home every day so um with traveling and being gone for seven days um which is a blessing for us to be able to do um but in in me being a barber and being able to choose the days that i work and mm -hmm. plan before beforehand um gives us the opportunity to do that um but you know, there's just a lot of things that goes into being gone for seven days. Mm -hmm. So from now, we got 10 days to pull everything together. You know, yeah. it's, it, it's such a production. We're going to do this, 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 that. But then at home, okay, this day, mm -hmm. this is going to be taking care of the kid. You know, we yeah. have this food for the, in these situations. So Come it, by and check in. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we got families, aunts, family members who, who will all come together and, and helping us to be successful with this so yeah so everybody's excited and, and and actually they um are really supportive of us taking this time because they know we need it absolutely so second year anniversary five state tour traveling we're going to be recording taking video mm -hmm. we'll see y'all there You'll see us there. And thank you so much for tuning in yes. to our first two video entitled 17. 17. 17 children, travel, family, wisdom, self control, compassion, spiritual, spiritual awareness. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Always. You don't have to, though. You know, if you want to, take your time. You just watch. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs>